926 here, Big 550 KTRS. Before we go any further, a shout-out to uh, Piccadilly at Manhattan. It's uh, my new favorite uh, cafe right on the corner of uh, Piccadilly and Manhattan uh, in uh, South City. Nick dropped off a full array of uh, food for the board meeting. So Love that. You guys have gotten into the uh, radio spirit, free food All from right. Piccadilly at Manhattan. Now uh, go out and spread the word about Piccadilly and Manhattan. Absolutely. All right, let's get to it. This uh, story is uh, sort of breaking as we speak. Uh, this weekend, uh, there's a Missouri Valley Conference game that is going to air on ESPN. In these games, uh, Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital here in St. Louis has been running. It's a deal with the Missouri Valley Conference. They, they run these commercials. It's sort of a, a public service announcement. These commercials are airing on uh, Channel 2, Channel 4, Channel 5, Channel 11. They also air here on the Big 550 KTRS. Uh, here is a sample of the ad. This ad has been rejected by ESPN for this Missouri Valley Conference game that's coming up this weekend. We're going to play the ad, and then we'll tell you why this ad has been rejected. Each Christmas, thousands in our community send messages of hope to sick and injured children who may not be able to come home for the holidays. At SSM Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center, we celebrate the birth of Jesus and the season of giving, bringing hope to the many children, parents, and families that we serve. Our patients are filled with hope as they receive a message each day from the treasure chest beneath our tree of hope. They made me smile. Help us reveal God's healing presence this Christmas. Send your message of hope at Glennon.org. The reason ESPN has rejected that ad is celebrate Jesus also Help us reveal God's healing presence this Christmas season. Send your message of hope to Glennon.org. ESPN uh, has found this ad to be over the line and offensive and will not allow Cardinal Glennon to run it in the Missouri Valley game this weekend. Jane Duker, or let's start with John Deal. Go ahead. Yeah, that's uh, you know pretty shocking. I wonder if the um, rocket scientists at ESPN bothered to look at the word Christmas to maybe see what the first part of that word <laughs> says uh, i believe christ is jesus generally speaking most people believe that and 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 you know th this is just taking it probably uh, definitely a step too far i mean th this oversensitivity to what christmas is and what the roots of christmas are just something that just shouldn't be policed and censored like that uh jane you want to jump in on this well yeah i mean and i'm you know very, I'm the I'm the separationist. I believe in separation of church and state, and I don't believe in shoving religion down people's throats. But th I, unfortunately, I agree here with uh, John Deal. I, I think you know, first of all, th they're a paid advertiser. They're paying to put that on there. Um, ESPN isn't endorsing any sort of religion. I mean, they're they're just running the ad. I mean, this is what gives Bill O'Reilly and the freaks, you know, in the war on Christmas, it gives these people something to talk about. I mean, this this to me goes way too far. And so I hope that ESPN is going to say, okay, wait, you know what? Maybe we need your reacted here, and we're going to stop this. But I, 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 like I said, I'm a big separationist, and I think this is, this is over the line. Tony. Here's, here's the great contradiction. So ESPN over the last couple of years, not recently because nobody knows where he is anymore. He's in the Witness Protection Program. But over the last couple of years, the number one athlete that ESPN adopted – as their guy to promote, and I was fine with this when he was on the Denver Broncos, is Tim Tebow. So here I am Tebowing. Here I am Tebowing. We can all do that. And what does Tim Tebow do every time he's he's interviewed? He thanks his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, I don't have a problem with that. I'm a Christian. I don't have a problem with athletes doing that on the air. But ESPN doesn't cut it when the athlete says that. They know he's an athlete. He's a Christian. That's what he does. Old PGA golfer Steve Jones used to do that all the time. There's plenty of athletes who do that, or they point to they point up to heaven when they've scored. That's just part of who they are. This is a Catholic hospital. They know it's a Catholic hospital. Catholics tend to believe in Jesus. Yeah, it, I, I mean the idea. It's actually a prerequisite. Yeah, it's 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 sort of it's one of those requirement things. Right. Um, the rule. All of a sudden, the Catholics are learning that the, thanks to the Pope, they got to care about the poor too. But that's a whole other story. So. This idea that, 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 the, that ESPN would be endorsing 
the the beliefs of the, they're taking cash from these people. They're taking money. That's it's a cash transaction, and that Catholic hospital believes in Jesus. And to think that sports fans who watch ESPN aren't smart enough to know the difference between oh, when that ESPN reporter interviews Tim Tebow and Tim Tebow talks about Jesus, that's not ESPN endorsing Jesus. That's Tim Tebow endorsing. Well, Jesus. And, and even on a, on a bigger level, what the hospital's promoting in the end, and it's the first time I've heard that. They're not promoting a religion. They're promoting the role of Jesus and faith in the healing mission of the institution. John Deal is which absolutely is a good right. right. You're absolutely right. Because the, if you go back and you listen to the ad, it doesn't say you should follow Jesus' heart like we do. It says we, we celebrate this. Jesus right. and this is our mission. Right. So it's just promoting what their mission. They, they do. Right. Which is good. Right. And that's why you buy advertising. To promote your mission, whether you're for profit, non profit, and I would be just as upset if it were any other religious institution that got that that, that, that the same thing happened to them. I will make a prediction. Uh, ESPN will backtrack on this. I hope so. By the end of the day, if not by tomorrow, they will backtrack on this. I mean, because, Rush Limbaugh is going to have a field day because no, we're all going to switch to Fox Sports. Well, the the, the commercial has run <laughs> on Fox Sports. Right. Yeah. The, the the commercial has run all over town. It runs here. It's it's a public service announcement here. We we donate time to causes like this. We air it. It's a public service announcement. It's a public service announcement on all the local TV stations. Um, ESPN. This is going to be a backlash of epic proportions on ESPN. This is someone's going to have someone's head's going to roll. Right. They cannot let this stand. It was supposed to air this weekend. Uh, it's just sort of now bubbling up uh, nationally now. Uh, Dan Buck, who is their vice president of everything over there, uh, isn't talking. Now, he has to be under a gag order because Dan Buck has never met a microphone he doesn't like. Right. Uh, um, and the fact that we asked him to come on the show, he says, I love to, I can't. I'm just guessing here that somebody put a gag order on Dan Buck. Um <laughs> So this is this is going to this is going to be a national story here. You think it might be that the play is under further review. The, the play, yeah. Yes, the, yeah. the the official is under the hood, if you will. Yes. But ESPN has has made a a terrible mistake, and they need to backtrack and reverse this uh, almost instantaneously. Nine thirty three here on the Big Five Fifty KTRA.